Earthquake preparedness is a way of life in San Francisco. When the next major quake hits, the city hopes that a new law requiring seismic upgrades to soft story buildings will help keep more residents safe and sound. So Bill, tell me a little about the soft story program. What is it? It's a program the mayor signed into law about a year and a half ago. And the whole idea behind it was to help homeowners strengthen buildings so that they would not collapse. Does the soft story program apply to all buildings or buildings that were uh, built in a certain time frame? It only applies to buildings built in a uh, time frame of 1978 and earlier. Okay. It's aimed at wood framed buildings that are three or more stories and five or more units. But the openings at the garage level and the street level uh, aren't supported in many buildings and without the support during a major earthquake the experts expected to pancake and to flatten and many of the buildings in this program are under rent control so it's to everybody's advantage to do the work and make sure they protect you know their investments and their tenants. Notices have gone out to more than 6,000 owners of potentially at-risk properties, but fewer than one-third have responded. And thousands might miss an important deadline in September to tell the city what they plan to do. Let's talk worst-case scenario. What happens in a collapse? Buildings, well, they'll have a tendency of rolling over. The first soft-story walls lean over, and the building collapses. And at that point, the building's a total loss. Can you describe what kind of strengthening is involved in the retrofit? Well, one of the basic concepts is you want to think of this building kind of like rubber bands, and the upper three floors are a very rigid box, and the garage is a very flexible element, and in an earthquake, the garage level tends to roll over. You get this rubber band analogy that the first floor is a very tough but flexible rubber band such that you never derive forces to the upper floors so all your damage goes into controlled elements like plywood or a steel frame. So here we are actually inside of a soft story building. Can we talk a little about what kinds of repairs property owners might expect? It's a very simple process and we've deliberately tried to keep it that way. So what's involved is plywood, which when you install it and make a wall, as we have done here already, and you cover it with this gypsum material. But this adds some flexibility so that during the earthquake, you'll get movement but not collapse. And that gets strengthened even more when we go over to the doorway to this steel moment frame to support the upper floor. So potentially the, the wood and the steel which sounds like a fairly straightforward uh, process, takes your odds of collapse from one in four to one in 30? That's exactly right. And that's why we're hoping that people will move quickly and make this happen. Great, let's take a look. So let's talk steel frames. Tell me what we have going on well, here. Well, we have a steel frame here. There are two of these, and they go up to the lower floor, and then there's a beam that goes across, and it forms a, basically a box that is uh, much stiffer and stronger so that during the earthquake, the upper floor will not collapse down onto this story. According to the engineers and contractors I've talked to, it can be done in about two weeks' time. Voila, you're done. Easy. If you're a property owner with questions about the mandatory soft story retrofit program, sign up to attend the Department of Building Inspection's Q&A session on August 11th. It's from 3 to 5 in the Corette Auditorium at the main public library, and DBI staff will be there to assist you. Remember, the deadline to turn in your screening form to DBI is September 15th. For more information on how to get your building earthquake ready, visit sfdbi.org.